what here today we're going to take a look at our first Lego Star Wars 7 The Force Awakens Lego set. So today we'll actually be taking a look at this really cool set that I'm pretty excited about. And it is Ray's Speeder. So it is set number 75099. It is recommended for ages 7 to 12 and it's usually 6 to 12 so I'm interested by why it says that. And um, that's 193 pieces. And comes with two exclusive minifigures. Now you may, you may be thinking like, well, um, Ray's not exclusive. She comes in the Millennium Falcon, and that is, I guess, technically true. But she does not come with her little speeder mask. Now it also comes with R Unkar's Thug, and I looked up Unkar uh, Unkar's Thug and Unkar Plut is a character. I don't know a whole lot about this character, but anyways, let's take a look at this Lego set we have. And I actually picked this up yesterday at Brickfest Live in um, Chicago-ish Rosemont, I should say. And um, it was 18 bucks, which is $2 less than the retail price. And I thought that was awesome. I'm like, oh, that, well, that's a good deal. Because they were selling them, like, at other um, old stations. Uh, they, a bunch of people had it, it looked like. But they were selling it for 25 30 bucks. I'm like, what, what, what? I mean, it doesn't seem like that hard of a set to get, considering it is the smallest, and it is, and it was 18 bucks, so I'm like, $2 less than retail? Cool. So, anyways, let's get started, and let's take a look at these awesome, this awesome set. So, here's the front of the box. The side of the box, Lego Club advertisement thing. And there's the back, you can kind of see all the details over here. Here, I'll take this and I'll... Okay, look at this. Um, yeah, so you can see she's sliding on this. Don't really understand why she, why Ray is actually on there, but okay. You can see there's a crate with some. Uh, you know what? We'll look at all this later. I'll show you guys all the features, but there's the back of it for you. Give you a quick glimpse of it. And we also have Ray, uh, the actual size. And Uncar's Thug. So, pretty, pretty cool box, actually. And, of course, there's a little Disney sign. <laughs> and there's the Kylo Ren, which just looks awesome. But let's take a look at our minifigures. So, first up, we have my favorite out of the two. And that is Miss Ray here. So, she is really, really cool, actually. She has an interesting hairstyle with, like, the three little, like, buns on there or something. And it's all, in, it's like a triple ponytail or something. And we also have kind of like the robes there and the gray shirt, as well as this dark brown robes, as well as a belt, a small brown belt. And she also has this some kind of staff here, which we did see in the trailer, I think. And um, you see it's all black, and it's made from two lightsaber hilts and one wand piece. That's what I'm going to call it, because that's the most common area I've seen it as. And there is that uh, nicely detailed leg piece. And she also has a second um, expression here. And um, so you have kind of a smile there and an angrier expression as well. So she also comes with a really, really, really cool piece that makes her the exclusive. And um, it's this. This looks awesome. It's her little, like, ninja mask. <laughs> it's actually her, like, speeder goggles and mask or whatever while she's in the desert. So that looks really, really cool in my opinion, and I think it's absolutely awesome. And, um, yeah, I really think it's cool. So I don't know if this, the torso and legs and face and whatever, uh, is exclusive to this set or what, but I just think the mask is really cool, and that's what makes it such a cool minifigure. So that's personally um, why I think it's so cool. But, yeah. I mean, that's got to be pretty close to the coolest minifigure other than uh, the First Order Stormtrooper. Because I was taking a look at these at Brickfest, out of box, which I got to do, which was so cool. But, um, you know, uh, I think this has to be, God, gosh, it has to be like the, probably like my third favorite mm, Star Wars 7 minifigure. And you can get it for 18 bucks now. So that's pretty cool compared to all the other prices. All I just have to complain here. And all the Star Wars 7 sets are so expensive. I don't know why they made them so expensive, but the lowest price is 20 bucks, and then we've got a bunch of other sets that are, and then, then the next cheapest is 40, and it goes up to 100, like, over 120, I think 150, and there's 120 and 150, it's, I don't know, it makes me mad, but 
That's okay. So there's Ray. I took a really long time looking at Ray there. And here's Uncar's Thug. Hopefully he'll be a little quicker. Gosh, the lighting so bad. I'm sorry. Hopefully you can see his face there. So that's pretty cool. Kind of looks like a robot to me. So this is Uncar's Thug. And a really cool, really, really, honestly, really neat, um, a gray hood. And then he has, um, some kind of golden wrench piece for some reason. You can also see he has kind of a jacket there with some sand on it, which is really cool the way they added that detail. And he's kind of, like, shining with the glitter on his, like, some kind of shining hexagon shapes on there. We'll zoom in if I can. Hold on. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to zoom. Zoom. Okay, I can't zoom. So hopefully you guys can see that. And then there's the back, and you can see there's more of his dust-covered little jacket there. So really, really, really neat figure overall. Actually, I didn't think it would be that cool, honestly, but it turned out to be pretty cool. So here's the speeder itself, and you can't have the speeder without Ray. It's Ray's speeder. So I'm going to put her on there with her mask, and that looks absolutely awesome. And, um, yes, it does kind of look like a popsicle or like one of those like fudge bars that's the shape of it though like, but i think it really looks pretty cool though and uh you can see there's nine billion accessories on here actually it's just three but um there's this little like buzz saw there's binoculars i'll show you guys so you got binoculars as well you have this thing which to me looks like a gun Here's the binoculars, as well as our saw thing, which is pretty cool. And then what I do, I don't know if I show it on the box or whatever, I just put it on here, though. Um, but usually I try to make this as close as I can to what they say on the box, as it should be portrayed, just for the review. So, hopefully you guys can get an accurate depiction. But, uh, I just put the staff on the side there, because I think it looks kind of cool. But, um, it also has, here's the front view. Really, really neat speeder, honestly. Before we get to the cool stuff, actually. Uh, there's the blue pieces on the back. They're like the thruster. Mm, just have Star Destroyer in the background. Just guys saw Trailer 2. And there's some cool little detailed stickers on there as well, which is really neat. And we've got quite a few little grill pieces to add detail. And it does look really, really nice. So, moving on, um, oh yes, also, on the bottom, we have these little two transparent ones and that gray piece to gl make it, uh, easily glide across surfaces. And it also has two little stud shooters on both sides as well. So, you can fire these. I don't know if you guys even saw that, they go fast, though. And, um, yeah, that works well, the stud shooters are... As good as normal. Oh, sorry. My connect that totally freaked me out. If you guys heard that on, I don't know if that caught the camera, but my Xbox is on in the background, and my connect just beeped. Oh, uh oh. I should stop that. Um, yeah, my connect is on. Uh, um, Xbox. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. There we go. It worked. That's why you don't leave your Xbox on while you're shooting a review. Whoa. I was just playing Lego Jurassic World. It's a good game. I don't have Lego Dimensions yet, though. You see, these are casual reviews, as I'm saying. Ah, all right, moving on. Okay, now that the Kinect just scared me out of my mind. Okay, so here's the little twisty thing. So on the back, we got this little thruster right here that actually twists, and you can move it, and it opens the door, which is cool. And then as well as the other side, which is also cool. So these open. These doors open on the side, and there's a little, like, piece they added in here that moves so that I'll push the doors open. And we also have a little box in here full of ammunition for the stud shooters, which is so cool. So it's filled with a bunch of little red uh, studs in here, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Except when they're stuck in the box and you can't get them. Are you kidding me? Okay, got them out. Uh-oh, my Xbox is on again. Yep. Okay. 
And then we have all those little red studs as well. So that is pretty cool. And it comes with so many extra studs. And it came with more extras. Look at, look at this. Look 